We were introduced to two new specialty items, and Nova D is here paired with specialty gloves goes crazy. All right, so we're gonna lead Nova Diaz here. We see Bar Badger come out first. So I just realized I forgot to screenshot the team. Um, that's fine. But no, we do see uh, we see Bar Badger out first. Now it does get the plus one. This thing is obviously, I mean, technically they're gonna outspeed us if they're boots, but I don't think they ever risk that. And I mean, we don't really have a. I mean, we can go Lumi, but like. Well, I mean, Lumi takes this decent... Well, no, they're going to click a rogue. No, we don't really want to. We're just going to hit this. I mean, we could work around it by going Harvest I mean, this is a big turn one. Like, what do we think this is? Obviously, it's gotten plus one. If they're boots, we expect them. I mean, they're always going to... We just go Harvest I don't think they're ever going to click Ice Hammer here. They're probably not even going to stay in. But we'll, um... Yeah, we're going to go Harvest here. We see... Yeah, okay, perfect. We probably could have stayed in and hit that. I mean, does it really matter? Probably not. But uh, no, we see El Iguana hit the field here. Now, El Iguana, this is just free to Clips entry. We just go to Clips for free here. So, I bring this in. But I mean, no, like, once uh, once we can get something like Meditoad on the field, that's going to force something in like this El Iguana, which, I mean, is exactly what we want. We can just, like, you know, force pressure on whatever. But, um... Switchins, they had a Tyrex. Is there a mid-ground for Tyrex? I mean, we can go this, right? Like, this is good for... I mean, is it good for Eliguana? It's not, it's not terrible for Eliguana. Or even that. Well, no, that's good too. No. We, um... Yeah, no, I guess we go Lumi here. I mean, Lumi's not, like, good for Tyrex, but it's, you know... we, we Tyrex is an issue. No, like, Tyrex is an issue. They go for the Taze, actually. All right, so Taze on our Luminami. So that's, um, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's whatever. Now, Switchins-wise, let me get this team real quick. All right, so Switchins-wise, I forgot. There is a Florent on this team as well as, oh yeah, Florent and Utyphoon. So, I mean, I feel like they're just gonna, I mean, we don't underspeed them, right? El Iguana's like... We're 60, El Iguana's 80. Wait, we do underspeed them. I I'm just going to go for the Flash and play. I don't think they're going to stay in here. Yeah, they go for the Zip Zap. Perfect. So we get to Zip Zap off of everything except for Florent, which I don't think they're going to go Florent because we obviously have a Frost Beam, which is, you know, scary. They actually do just go... Okay, never mind. Well, I mean, not the best play, but I mean, we're whatever. Like, we're not too, too right about this. We just go... Straight Harvest Sect, I guess. We don't really have a choice. This can come in and start bulking up. This definitely could be a prediction later on that we can catch it on. But, um... No, we'll go Harvest Sect here. Get some Lumi health back. This has been a pretty slow start to the battle. Part of that is because, uh... I didn't take a screenshot of the team and I went back, like, mid-battle to get it. And, I mean, now, now we're set. I don't know what I'm just making excuses. But now we're, like... Now I know for sure what, what's in the back. But, um... Yeah, I mean, we're we're not in a lot losing position, really. We just got to worry about Bar Badger. Bar Badger's an issue, as well as Tyrex, which they definitely brought, is also going to be an issue. But, I mean, something like Meditoad. Um, yeah, no, Meditoad. I mean, Meditoad can come in and nuke stuff like El Iguana and nuke stuff like Tyrex, for example. Dragodon as well, which I don't think they can go into. But, um, stuff like that. Oh, that, that could have been a bad poison. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, that, that's whatever. And then, I mean, our, what's our main win condition here? Probably Nova. We, we definitely want Chip on El Iguana for Nova. So, like, Meditoad forcing Chip on El Iguana opens up Nova Diaz to win the game. As well as something like, I mean, everything, really. You Typhoon as well. I mean, you Typhoon's going to take it decently well, probably. But, uh, I mean, we'll see. Anyways, Harvest X switchins here. They probably, um, I don't know what they go, but we just click Harrow. We're going to fish for a poison here. They actually just stay in and poison us. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, we crit them. <laughs> All right, well, that's, uh, that's one way to do that. I mean, if they want to, I don't think they're going to, they're going to switch out now. We'll go for the Harrow now. I was going to say, we can start bulking up if they want to 1v1 us, but they're not staying in now. Here is the Tyrex that we were expecting. 
Now, I mean, this is like our only earth resist on this team. So, I mean, yo, when we get the poison, that's huge. That is massive. This Tyrex was a huge issue for us. Poison on this thing is great. Now, switchins wise, um, yeah, about that. Now, I don't know why they went Tyrex. I mean, Vice Jaws will hurt. I mean, we can go Lumi, I guess. No, we can literally go Lumi and just like power nap or spam, whatever, basically. We'll go Lumi here, and I mean, we can like Frost Beam, maybe. I mean, is it worth the risk? It's not really that risky. Actually, go for the double here into Dragodine. Okay, so no you Typhoon, no your soul. Your snack, I mean. Now, Dragodine obviously has a light move. Um, I mean, Teclipse is free every time. I feel like they're going to predict this. I really want to get Meditoad entry, but we really can right now. Once we get Meditoad, we can just start nuking stuff. And then, like, Nova opens up, and then, you know. Yeah, I see Jetstream. Could have made... Hmm. See... We could have went many turn on the Jets here, but I was afraid of, like, Draco Beam coming out. But, I mean, did they really click it there? I feel like they just Jet Stream again, don't they? Or they switch out. I'm going to go many Toad here. They're either going to click Jet Stream, or they're going to go into probably the... Okay, how do they do? Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, so many Toad on the field. Has taken a little bit, but we don't care about that. And, I mean, they're afraid of a electric move right now, obviously, right? They don't know what the Medito this is. It could be Zip Zap. It could be Thunderstrike. They don't know what's about to come. They're going to definitely go into El Iguana here and try to, like, absorb that electric hit or go into Tyrex and absorb that electric hit. And, uh, well, here we go. Tyrex comes in. Bro, look at this. We got Specialty Goggles, Specialization Meditoad with the Cycle Blast. And it's dead. No, th that thing is dead. We, um, obviously, uh, under it kills us now, but, uh, we just switch out. I mean, look at the damage on that thing. Like, that's that's a Tyrex, by the way. It's probably clever. It definitely is clever. Clever, resisted hit. That should have took, like, it took a lot. <laughs> now, um, I think Lumi's always the play. Because we don't want to get, yeah, no, we always go Lumi here. They go for the double here. Imagine the stay in. Imagine, imagine the double... I'm going to predict the switch. I'm just kidding. But no, we're going to see... Uh, we're going to see Dragodine, which... Good play on their part. Uh, this kind of sucks now, because we're obviously afraid of a dark move. Do they... I mean, if they jet stream, we're fine. Well... See, what do we do here? What do we, what do we think they're going to do here? Because last time they jet streamed into Teclipse, I feel like they think we're going to be afraid of that happening again and try to stay in. And this time, they're going to collect the dark move. But at the same time, it's like, this could definitely be Shade Pearl. So, like... What even is there? We'll, we'll just flash and play. I, I don't think... I think they're just going to... Oh, they do, too. <laughs> Never mind. Well, they, uh... That... Oh, my gosh. That does so much. Please don't para. Perfect. <laughs> that could have been so bad. Well, um... That's really bad for us. But Luminami's still alive, so it doesn't really matter. And, uh... Yeah, now we go Nova Diaz and just claim a kill. So that's, um... <laughs> that could have been really bad if that killed. Luminami does have Power Napper, so we can, like, keep bringing it in. But obviously, like, that's a lot of damage. Now, Switchin's here. I mean, I don't see any... Remove... Oh, there's Mudslide on El Iguana. Mudslide on El Iguana, but that's still good because we, like, waste a turn for them. I kind of want to get Ice Cold Travel, but at the same time, it's like, we get we basically get a kill here, don't we? If I Boiling Press, what's really coming in on this? Or how much, wait, let me see how much El Iguana takes from, like, wait, this could, um, I don't think we, El Iguana's full health, but, like, it's still, it's going to take a lot. Uh, maybe not, actually. <laughs> okay, wait, 200 plus one, it takes half, then we don't kill it because we run out of energy. So, what do we want to do here? Because, uh... El Iguana takes half damage. That could be... I mean... I feel like it's better to get... I think the dam... No, we just want damage. We're just going to outburst here. They might even not go El... I mean, they're going to go El Iguana, But, like, yeah. Alright, El Iguana comes in. It's low energy, so they're going to be forced to read you here. And, yeah, it does just, just around half... 
We don't kill them because we do run out of energy. Oh my gosh, we had an ice hammer. I mean, wait, how much did ice hammer? It killed. <laughs> Why did I? That was such a bad play. Bro, ice hammer literally killed El Iguana. But it's fine because this was actually calculated and I wanted to get to clips back on the field to get health. You guys doubted me. No, you guys... Okay, zip zap. Never mind. Um, I thought they would read you or... Uh... <laughs> yeah, read you. And now they get Bar Badger entry. Mm, well, I'm starting to regret kind of that decision I made. <laughs> it's fine. Now, Bar Badger here. Oh, we have to sack something. Now, what do we want to sack? What do we need around? I mean, Lumi... Is Lumi required? Tyrex is kind of dealt with. I think we just go Lumi. It's dead. It's paralyzed. Like, it's pretty much dead. It's paralyzed. And there's no real purpose for it. Everything else has purpose. Harvest for, like, Florent. They rogue assault. Yeah, okay. So, Barbiders are going to drop. Now, this is where we go back into Nova Diaz. Now, wait, wait what did they click? They clicked Rogue. It would be so funny if we went into this and they were like, no. It, it, no. We could go this. See, do we know? We don't know what they are. I feel like they're definitely not boot. They don't. See, they know we're gloves. No, no, they know we're gloves based on the damage we did to them. So if they're boots and we go Nova Diaz, they know they're faster. So I feel like that's something we don't take a risk on. I think we just go straight Harvest Sect. Or we could go Nova Diaz and then double Harvest Sect. And then it's good as it wastes energy. And it also. What would the switch be to Nova? It would be El Iguana. And then we can Earthquake Ellie going. I think that's the play. We go Nova Diaz and then go into Harvest Act. Because we bait out a Rogue Assault, or we get a switch in on Eliguana. And then we get to Earthquake. And then kill it or like force damage, you know. We get we get we probably Harrow for a switch out. I don't know. Okay, so they're definitely not boots. That's guaranteed. And we and we get that information that they're not boots. They're actually gonna sack Tyrex there, okay. So, I mean. This is also fine. This also dies to Earthquake. I, um... I think we just click Harrow, though. No, we always just click Harrow. I don't think they're gonna go... I mean... We click this if we think it... We're very... I'm just gonna click Parasitize. There's no way this doesn't, like... We want the health back. Tyrex definitely dies to this plus the Poison Chip. If it stays in, if they switch out, then, I mean, this hits everything. So, going for the Parasitize here... Gonna get a little bit of health, but, um, I mean, we're pretty solid. No, we're pretty solid. Elegua- or, sorry. This Tyrex, by the way, is only dead because of the Meditoad chip we forced on it. That was, like, above half- like, it was a half of its health deleted. And now it's, like, you know, this was an issue for our team. Now it's, um, yeah, I mean, Harvest Act Poison. This could have been, like, this could have went crazy. But now it's, like, yeah, and I mean, uh, what's it called? Meditoad here still can kill something like- what's it called? El Iguana, which we don't actually need chip on. Nobody just kills it. But, uh, okay. Okay. Bar Badger comes in. How much is Parasitize doing here? Oh, imagine the Harrow. <laughs> Nothing. Imagine if we Harrowed there. That could have been golden. Now, Bar Badger Ice Hammer. Oh, boy. So, we basically have to choose another sack. And I think this time it has to be to Clips. I think we have to go to Clips. Because we need Harv. Okay, what do we need? It's, it's between these two. Because we need these two for sure. Do we need Harv? Or do we want Harv or Teclips? I mean, Teclips can help with El I mean, Teclips can help with both El Iguana and Dragodan. Harvestect is there for Florian. Florian's quad weak to an Ice Hammer, though. I don't think it's going to make any progress. This also just loses to Florian. We don't even beat Florian. Well, we do, but in the long run. And then it's like, they just switch out. So I'm going to just sack this, I feel like. We're gonna go for the Harrow play. They're gonna probably just, yeah, they decide to hammer they kill us. But it's um, I mean we didn't have a choice. That's fine. Now Bar Badger on the field. This is another like, we just we have to go Nova Diaz. Nova Diaz comes in, and we kill something, which is gonna be the Tyrex. What do we want to be locked into though? There's no world they see. I want to click Ice Hammer. So then they can't go into something like... Actually, they still can go El Iguana. No, they should kill El Iguana. Man, I really want to click Ice Hammer. But if we click Boiling Press, they go Tarix, and they get to go El Iguana. But I mean, if they go El Iguana, we can just go into this. But if they zip zap on us, that could be bad, and they get Bar Badger entry back. I feel like we have to risk this. I'm going to go for it. 
it's it's a pretty safe play, but it's just like actually now they just go back bar badger. Wait, <laughs> I didn't really think that through. Wait, it's the same situation because now they just go back in a bar badger. Assuming he knows that we're at the you know uh, gloves. Oh no, Eliguana comes in. Does he not know? Wait, he doesn't know. We ice hammer again. They could definitely just go straight bar badger right now. But, I mean, we don't really have a choice unless we go... Yeah, no, they're waiting. This should kill. No, this will definitely kill. Our, like, blunt... Oh, what? Wait, what did I miss? What did I do get wrong there? 200 plus 1. Unless this is... Okay, no, this is that. No, this is robust 200. This has to be. Yeah, no, it's robust 200. Or even wait, how much did that do? That should have done like. Is that? Did we get a? Oh my gosh, we're negative one from the Tyrex. <laughs> I'm like, what? But um, bro, how did I? I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> it's fine. No, we're we're good. We're good. We're gonna um. We're gonna see a zip zap or a reju here for sure. It's also right there, that drop. Um. See, now I wanna like. Does ice, do icicles help us really? Not, not really. I mean, Dragodine, Florent. They definitely. I mean, we can't even click them. What am I saying? We're locked into ice armor. Wait, we just kill it now, but like, they're gonna go. They're gonna go, uh. They're gonna go Bar Badger. But at the same time, it's like, we just click it. They're gonna go, are we, we rest on the Bar Badger? We need this energy. They, they're gonna go Bar Badger. There's no world they don't because they know they quad resist and they know, yeah, no, this is perfect. So we get the play after um, making, I mean, it's not even a bad play. To be honest, it's not even that bad of a play. Like, okay, Eliguana got like, we got chip on it, that's all we need. And we got all of our energy back, we're healthy. We win the game now if we, uh, I mean, we're forced to sack to, to clips or Meditoad. I mean, Meditoad can actually lash out damage. To clips, just kind of loses. I mean, Florent just comes in, so I'm. Yeah. We can also possibly live a Bar Badger hit with Meditoad if they click. Uh, if they click Rogue, which they are gonna click right now. I want to see how much Meditoad takes because there's a chance. Eh, with plus one, probably. I mean, either way, we just go into this. As much as a Meditoad showcase it is, there might be a chance we live that, but we just go into this. This is the best play. And, um... Yeah, we get a kill now. Now, Boiling Press gets a kill. This, um... Yeah, this feels more like a specialty Goggles Nova Diaz showcase. Which, uh... I mean... <laughs> it's doing well. No, this thing's doing really well. I mean, Manito definitely put in the work. If Manito didn't come in... It sounds like I'm trying to convince you guys. We literally witnessed it happen. But, like... Manito nuked that Tyrex. That Tyrex could have been a big issue for this entire team because terrifying plus the fact that we didn't have anything for it except for Nova Diaz. We didn't have a switch in for it. We had nothing to switch into it. We could like offensively pressure it with this or we had Dakuda, which we didn't bring, but like actually we could have brought Dakuda and kept it in base form, but we only have a Maroon. So it's like, you know, th th this was ideal. And the poison on Harvest Sect was also great. Like we got lucky and then we made a good play with Meditoad. But I mean, Meditoad can still like, bro, I'm ready for like, I don't know. I have to get another kill. Because something like Drago... Drago or Flor... I mean, it's not living a floor on bears, it does. But, no, it doesn't outspeed it either. Alright, anyways, is gonna drop here. We get this down. Now, actually, doesn't Nova Diaz just win? I think we just win with Nova Diaz. Dragodine comes in. This'll be enough to kill. It doesn't have priority. Yo, forget this, bro. Nova Diaz is like... This thing's going insane. Specialty goggles... Gl uh, gloves? Nova Diaz? What is switching into this? We like actually like 5 0 this guy with Nova Diaz. What the heck? El Iguana died in 2. Barbadger dies. Dragodine dies. Florent dies. Tyrex is already dead. And I mean, they had Terrifying, but it still would have took a lot from like, you know... It, it pro- I mean, Tyrex is an issue. But we worked around it, and I know Vegeta's opened up. This thing actually just wins. 
Because there's nothing, there's nothing they can stop. We got 129 attack. 200 with a plus one on top of that. I, what is, there's no way, yeah, Jurgenheim's, I mean, that was never living. But, um, Florent, yeah, no, Florent dies. And the bar budget dies. This is GG's. <laughs> Bro, I was so, like, laser focused on, like, yo, let, let's get Meditoad on the field. Meditoad's gonna, like, win us the game. And then, and then Nova D is just as, like... Well, that's, uh, that's something. This, <laughs> this is where we turn the video into a Nova Diaz, uh, Nova Diaz showcase. No, this is, uh, this is gonna be GG's. Unironically, uh, I'm actually gonna do that. You guys are watching a Nova Diaz video. You just witnessed firsthand Scorch SE just change his showcase mid-battle. The plan was to do a Manitoad video. But look at what just happened. All right, but no, this is gonna be GG's Nova Diaz. I that that crit should not, not matter, but uh, no, that's gonna be GG's. Okay, let's see if our now showcase Lumi Nova Diaz is actually good or just had a good matchup last battle. Here we got hyper offense. Nova Diaz is gonna be great to hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, and hit this. All right, so we're gonna lead to clips here just because there is a potential of a mask here, which um Well, uh, this is kind of annoying. So this wrestling is either obviously wrestling or it's either my mask Which if it's my mask, they probably get like Barbs or something up, but if it's actually wrestling, they're just going for the rogue assault. I Mean we just go harvest sects if they're uh, if they're actually a mask, they're just gonna click like they're gonna get barbs up or something. Which yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it's fine. It, it was kind of risky to stay in and like predict that, but we can just go for the parasitize here. And I mean, any damage they do to us, actually, they're just gonna fade away. No, they just fade away here. They fade away and probably go Stratosaur, which actually sucks because wait, no, that's gonna be really bad. Fade away, it doesn't do too, too much. Honestly, I probably should have led this thing. I was thinking like Teclipse can deal with my mask and like pretty much everything else, but the only thing I couldn't really deal with was Str uh, Stratosaur, which we just went the whatever, and then Wrestling, which, um, yeah, um, it's fine though. We got Land Torch on the field, which is actually much better than, uh, <laughs> than Strat coming in, which, I mean, it makes more sense. But, I mean, we have Luminami as well as Teclipse, which I feel like Teclipse is... I'm gonna go Teclipse. Even if they click Fire Breath on us, all we need for this thing is it to just be alive. So, like, it's fine for Vesperage and stuff like that. And they do go for the Flash and Flay. So, yeah, we catch, to, uh, catch Land Torch like that. We now probably outspeed, if it, outspeed it if it's non-boots. I mean, regardless, we're in the better position because we either outspeed it now... If it's not boots, and if it is boots, it's locked into that same move. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Land Torch here is gonna definitely go into Stratosaur. Dakuda is a very free middle ground here. I thought I didn't bring it for a sec. I, yeah, no, we're good. Dakuda here is perfect. I don't think Land Torch is ever staying in, and, uh, well, it doesn't ever stay in, and it's good for Stratosaur as well, which we do not see. We actually see Phage Knot, which. Uh, a little unexpected, but I mean. It, also fine. I mean, we don't really have any other option but to stay in and just, uh... Yeah, just maroon. This is, uh... I don't think they would ever stay in because they obviously don't want to take this what probably, or what's usually Tsunami. But, um... Yeah, I mean, this is, uh... This is fine. I mean... Looking at the team, they obviously have Mamas, they have Lantorch, they have Wrestling, they have Phage Knot. Nova Diaz goes absolutely nuts, except for Lantorch, and it also kills... No, we could actually win with Nova, as long as we... Okay, hold up. This hits us. It does a lot, but we're gonna do a lot back to it. We actually just straight up kill it. Perfect. Alright, so Phage Knot's gonna drop there. Now... I want to see what their last Lumen is. If they have Bunnaki, they probably go into it now. If they have Stratosaur, we need Dakuda around. And if they have Vesp, we need Teclipse around. So, keep Teclipse, keep Dakuda. Bunnaki, our best thing for Bunnaki is just... Uh, oh, it's Vesp. Hold up, this is actually perfect. Yo, Nova Diaz is about to go insanely crazy. They're probably going to slash this, but I really don't care. 
We have this. Oh no, this is weak spirit too. What am I saying? We have to clips. They probably slash to clips. And we're actually not gamma pulse. So like And they know we have to clips. I feel like is it is it really is it really risky to predict a slash right now? I feel like it's not. And I feel like if we listen, listen, if we go Nova Diaz right now and we come in on a slash. We get to throw out a massive hit after that. And like they have to slash. They know we have to clips. Why would they go Vesperatu? Unless they know they have something for to clips. I'm going to go Nova Diaz here. They either switch out or they click slash. They're never in any world going to like do anything else. So Nova Diaz is going to come in here. And we do see a slash. Perfect. So great play. Nova Diaz tanks that. I actually forgot ice resisted basic. But that also is, works perfectly. And uh, oh boy. Well. Let's let's play a game, guys. Find the Nova Dia switcher because this thing's about to kill absolutely everything on the field right now. They're gonna be go wrestling. Outburst is um well, it's clutch plushy, but <laughs> wrestling is going to drop just oh sorry, the mask. But um yeah, no, the mask is gonna get nukes just like that. I mean, maybe we should have clicked boiling press. I mean, no, no, we we always clicked that. No, there was literally because. We literally use less energy to use them. Like, oh, we use Boiling Press with less energy. But no, that, that was literally the, benef like, the best play for us. Outburst takes out the Mamask. Now, Mamask does outspeed us now. But, um... We go to Clips. They're gonna... They're forced to click an attacking move because they don't want to, like, let us, you know, kill it. Actually, do they? I, f I could see a second layer of barbs going up here, actually. They do. Could have maybe stayed in, but, like, we just bring Nova Diaz in later and then it just wins us the game. Like, literally. It, it's... It's pretty much, like... This is this thing's gonna go nuts. Now, what do they do to Eclipse? Because we can just go for the scapegoat here for free. They provoke us. Good play. Actually, that's that's. I mean, does it really matter? No, but I mean, fair play. Um, I'm just gonna go for the raging howl or dark surge. I mean, dark surge hits more. We'll go for the dark surge. They just get a third layer barbs. That's fair. So my mask is going to drop, which is great for us. Now, okay, so we outspeed Vesperatu. We outspeed Wrestling. Both of those die to our uh, Nova Diaz. The only issue is Land Torch, which is probably going to... Actually, doesn't... Uh... Wait, no. No, why would they... No, we always have Lumi for it, though. We're good. We have Lumi for it every time. So we're... um, We're good. No, we're good here. Wrestling. I mean... This kind of sucks, but like, I'm on. I'm just gonna hit this. Honestly, I wanna see if this kill. Well, actually. No, listen. If they're. They're probably specialty gloves. Meaning we outspeed them, meaning we can just get chip on this and then die. Which is what we want. Obviously, Vesperatu is still around, but I'm confident we can beat Vesperatu because Nova Diaz has absolutely. I mean, it wins the game. We're not. We don't need to clips for Nova Diaz anymore. Or for. Uh, sorry, for the other thing. They actually do outspeed us, but uh, we live, so there's also that. Now, how do they, are they, is that boots, or are they just like nimble 200? Oh my gosh, we crit them, that is, was not even required. Kind of annoying because, uh, well, I mean, we just go into, we sack it first. Just in case, well, let's think about this. Wrestling is like 78 speed, yeah, 78 speed. Against Eclipse, which is 96. So if they're nimble 200, they do always outspeed us. I feel like they're just nimble 200 and they're locked into their thing. I would just go straight Harvest Egg, but at the same time, that's sort of risky. Is it really that risky? Say Harvest Egg dies. It's literally here from wrestling, and then we just, like, go Nova Diaz and kill it anyway. So we're, we're fine with this. This is, um... Yeah, we'll go Harvest Egg here. We have Lumi Lami around for... Yeah, that's all we need. No, that's all we need. We, we basically... Honestly, we could have just sacked to clips. They're actually going to make a double into Land Torch. Yeah, good play there. Actually, good play there. Even though we made a bad play, but they it, they guessed, like, they got our play correct, even though it probably wasn't the play we should have made. Do I want to just... I kind of want to sack to clips. I'm not even going to lie. But at the same... Oh, actually, this might not... No. Wait, how much does... Nova Diaz outburst onto land torch mm, see i was gonna say sack this go this but we just go straight Lumi. We, we just go straight Lumi. this land torch is always gonna revenge kill us and we're afraid of it being boots but uh it's fine 
Fire Breath. Yeah, so rather than losing to Clips, that's exactly what we want to do. Now, um, see, I think we flash, and, yeah, we always flash and play here. We get Nova Diaz and we get a kill. So yeah, I mean, I was going to say Nova Diaz hasn't exactly really, like, we haven't seen the damage output of it per se, just because it's like, they never outspeed us unless they're boots. But, uh, do we risk this? See, that's the thing. This could be, this actually could be boost. There's no way. We're going to take the risk just to show off Nova D is getting a kill. <laughs> I'm taking the risk. In a real match, I wouldn't do this. But, uh, yeah, that's a lot of chip, by the way. They have three layers of barbs. So, in this situation, uh, we, we kill something. N nothing switches into this. So, Wrestling dies, Vesperatu dies to Boiling Press, and Lantorch dies to 2, so they're probably going to sec Vesp here. They just threw the game. Alright, we win now. I don't know why they went into Lantorch. That, oh, it didn't even live. Never mind. <laughs> I, I underestimated the power of Nova Diaz. I'm like, does that? Okay, well, yeah, no, Nova Diaz is going to sweep. So, that is going to be a Nova Diaz sweep. I was a little afraid when I originally, actually, there's a, let's see how much the Shadow Sprint does. This could actually hurt. No, we might, we might actually we should we see we should have went to clips but i just want to risk this and see how much it takes we actually live anyways all right that's gonna be ggs but no nova d is definitely put in the work that was kind of funny I'm <laughs> this video was originally supposed to be a meditoad video and nova d is just did so well in the last game like yo might as well try this instead which i mean they're both really good lumians they both great abusers of these specialty items but no um a little afraid when i saw hyper offense i'm like oh boy nova d is gonna be able to like super they were boots they were boots this entire time. We dodged a bullet there. That could have been really bad. But, um, no. That is going to be a GG's there. Regardless, Nova Diaz plays mind games and ends up, uh, yeah, no. Getting this, getting us the win here. I don't know why I went. I, for some reason, I thought they were, we win. No, we have, we have, a uh, freaking Luminami. What were, we're this is GG's. <laughs> for some reason, I thought they were locked into the Brawler move. But, uh, no. It's going to be... GG's here. Looking at the set, we're obviously going to be running the new specialty gloves item. We're going to be going with Nimble 200 here, just to be as fast as possible, outspeed as many things as possible. The reason we're not brawny is just because we're already 129 attack. We're already specialty gloves. We have 200 investment, obviously, but we just already have so much attack. It's just better to invest that in our speed. Just so we can obviously outspeed as many things as possible and then like hit as many things as possible. So I felt that Nimble is better, but I mean a pretty standard set. 200 attack, 200 speed, a little bit of energy, well the 4 energy run and the rest going into HP there. And then moves wise, we got Boiling Press. This is obviously just the best fire move. Hits, uh, you know, water super effectively. Ice Hammer as our ice coverage. And then Outburst, this obviously pairs with Obsidian Heart. This does so much damage, especially for high energy. And then the last move, went with Icicle Trap here. We didn't actually see this clicked at all, but this could definitely be used in certain situations. Especially against bulkier teams or teams that have, like, you know, a solid defensive core against nobody. It's like, they have, you know, Luminami and something else. Like, they, basically a team that's, like, stall, I guess. Like, we're trying to, like, we can't, like, lash out huge damage like we saw. Instead, we get the ice cold traps up and we slowly chip down those answers, kill the rest of the team, and like, you know, then we can late game clean. But no, that's going to be our Nova Diaz here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until next time, Scorch out.